Hello friends, this video on microorganisms friend and foe part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now microbes, when we talk about the medicinal uses of microbes, we also see that they play a very, very important role in the process of vaccination. And I'm sure all of you must be knowing how important vaccination is. Now, before we talk about the role of microbes in vaccination, let us quickly understand what is vaccination. You would have often heard small children, uh, they go to the doctors to take their vaccine drops. So the polio drops or the vaccinations the inject in the form of injections. So you would have seen that they have some specific interval, maybe at three months, again at six months, nine months and so on. So what are, what are these injections and why do they take it? So now, our little friend is very happy to know that microbes also help to cure us, like how we studied about antibiotics. So now we are also going to talk about the vaccination process where we will see that they help us even better. So in antibiotics, they cure a disease and in vaccination, they also prevent a disease. So let us see how. So what is vaccination? Now, this is something, this is the picture of a vaccination camp where small kids are given the vaccine drops. So it is a process in which vaccine is given to improve the immunity of the body against a specific disease. So quite a few terms need to be explained. What is vaccine? What is immunity? Now, let us first talk about immunity. What do we mean by immunity? Immunity is our body's own defense system. For example, in order to protect our house, what do we do? We employ security guards outside our house who can take care of the security of the house. Correct? So in a very similar way, our body also has a security system inside which helps to protect the body against any sort of infections. So that is called the immunity of the body. If a person has a very strong immunity, in that case, he is less prone to get infected because he is strong. He has a strong immune system. So his immune system can fight well with the infection. If a person has a very weak immune system, he is more prone to fall ill. He is more prone to get attacked by some harmful microorganism. So now in the process of vaccination, what happens is vaccine is introduced inside the body of a person. So, and what is that vaccine? So that is where we will see that microorganisms play a role. So vaccine will be introduced inside the body and the purpose of this vaccine is to improve the immunity of the body against a specific disease. For example, if polio drops are given to kids, that means the immunity of the body against the polio disease is being developed so that if the polio disease, if the uh, microbe which causes the polio disease that attacks that person, the body will be able to fight against that microbe and the body will not get polio. Why? The reason is the body has developed a very strong immunity against polio disease. Now, how the body developed that immunity? Due to the introduction of the vaccine. So, what is this vaccine? Vaccine is a biological preparation that resembles a disease-causing microbe. Now, it is something like this. Let us suppose your body has encountered a particular microbe once. Now, body inside our body also, inside our immune system, we all we have certain different types of cells. Now, there are certain types of cells which keeps the memory, which keeps a record of the memory. So now, once your body has been attacked by a particular type of disease-causing microbe, so your body remembers that. So it is there stored in the memory. So the next time when the same microbe comes and tries to attack, so the body tries to fight back with greater immunity so that the disease cannot win over and the person is not uh, affected by that disease. So that is how the system of our body works. So in vaccination, what happens is a false indication is given to the body that a disease causing microbe has attacked the body. Now, what is that disease causing microbe or what is that biological preparation? For example, a particular disease is caused by a particular microbe. Now, we do not want a person to suffer from that disease. So we cannot directly enter that microbe. But how do we make sure that the body should realize that the microbe has entered? 
So this vaccine is made up of dead or very weak microbes. So in this case, what will happen? If a very weak microbe is entering inside your body, you are very less likely to attack that disease. You will not get that disease because the microbe is very weak or the microbe is dead. So that microorganism is dead. So let us suppose a particular disease is caused by a virus. Now what I do instead of introducing that virus into the body, I introduce the same virus which is dead. So now it is very obvious that you will not get that disease but at the same time your immune system will get to recognize or it will store that particular microbe in its memory even though it is dead but it will store that microbe in its memory. So next time if a live microbe attacks your body your immune system will fight back with greater strength and that's how it will not allow that microbe to win over and cause the disease. So that is the concept of vaccination. Now in vaccination where is the role of microorganism in the preparation of vaccine? Because to prepare vaccine you need samples of microbes, you need microorganisms which are either dead or which are very weak. So that means these kind of microorganisms help in the preparation of a vaccine and the vaccination has been a very successful uh, process because it has been able to eradicate a lot of deadly diseases. So let us try to understand the concept of vaccination because the concept might sound a little tricky to you right now but I will try to give you an example which will help you to understand the concept very easily. Now forget about disease, forget about microorganism, forget about the body. Just look at this example. That how a creation of memory happens with the help of vaccine. So vaccination is all about creation of a memory of a disease causing organism. And that is why we introduce a dead virus or a dead bacteria into the body so that the body stores a memory of that particular virus or that particular bacteria. So that when the same virus or the same bacteria attacks the body again, the body will not allow that bacteria or virus to enter or to cause that disease. So let us take this example. Let us suppose this is a palace or this is your house, let us assume. Okay, so you want your house to be secured. When I say secure, you want it to be well protected from robbers and decoys and thieves. So that is why what did you do? You employed one security guard outside your house because you want it to be completely protected. Now what happens? Let us suppose a thief comes in. So when this thief tries to enter inside this house, this security guard who was standing outside to ensure the security of the house, he gets to know that in order to, he, he gets to recognize this person or this thief. He gets to know that, okay, fine. So these type of thieves might come and they might try to enter inside the house. But now this time, the thief which who has come, he has come without much preparation, right? So he has just come thinking that, okay, there is just one security guard, so let me try my luck. So that's how he came. So now when the security guard got to know that, okay, this house is very prone to attack by thieves. So what he does, he increases his power. So he increases his immunity. So now what happens is the next time when the thief even thinks of coming toward near this house, he, got, he gets to see that the immunity or the protection system is very strong. So the immune system of the body is very strong now. So what happens as soon as the thief tries to come near the house, all these group of soldiers, they fight back and send him away. So the same concept is applicable for vaccination as well. So when you apply the vaccine, you are actually sending a very weak microbe which is not capable of causing the disease. But that microbe is capable of creating a memory inside your body. So the same thing happens in case of vaccination. Now when the same virus, now let us suppose if the real virus attacks your body, the real virus or the real bacteria which is capable of causing a disease, if that microbe attacks your body, now your immune system has already has the memory of that particular virus or that particular bacteria. So the body will fight back against that microbe with greater strength and therefore it will send the 
microbe away so the microbe will not be able to cause the disease so this is how the concept of vaccination works so i hope now you understood where is the role of microorganisms here the vaccine or the sample which is prepared to give to create memory inside the body that is prepared with the help of uh, weak microbes or dead microbes so that is where microbes play a role in the process of vaccination now what exactly happens during vaccination now as i said memory gets created and then the same memory is used up in the next time so how exactly is that memory created and what happens when the when next time the same virus attacks the body so here comes the concept of antigen and antibody now these might be a little complicated for you guys but this is very interesting and that's why i feel that you should know it so let us see what are these now what happens is whenever a vaccine is introduced into the body that is a new microbe is being introduced into the body either the microbe is weak or it is dead doesn't matter but a new microbe is being introduced into the body so the body produces antibodies in response to any new thing which is introduced into the body so here the vaccine is actually introducing a foreign particle inside the body so this foreign particle is called antigen and the antibodies are always produced in response to the antigen and these antibodies which are produced inside our body they remain inside our body and they will fight any further attack of the same antigen you got it so whenever a particular virus enters your body for the first time so that is so anything which enters your body that is called as antigen so when it enters for the first time so the body by default produces antibodies against that antigen okay these antibodies will remain inside your body it will sit inside your body silently but next time if the same antigen attacks your body so the antibodies will fight back so that is what happens during vaccination so let us try to understand the terms antigen and antibodies even better because you might ask what are these i am hearing it for the first time so in simple words you can just think it in this way the thief which we were talking about is the antigen and this security guard is nothing but the antibody so when you are when the thief was trying to enter inside the house so the house created the antibody so the house had the soldiers or the house had the security guards so in response to the thief now as long as the thief did not come so do you think that the security guards were fighting with guns with somebody else no not really but as soon as the antigen came in whenever a foreign particle came inside the house these antibodies were produced that is they started fighting so antigens are the foreign substances and antibodies are produced inside the body in response to the antigens so to make it more detailed antigen refer to any foreign substance inside the body now this foreign substance can be anything it can be chemicals it can be microorganisms like bacteria virus it can be toxic materials that is poisonous materials it can be pollen so it can be anything any of these is called an antigen so any foreign substance which is entering your body for the first time that is an antigen to the body so these antigens trigger immune response to produce antibodies so antibodies are created due to antigen so antibodies are kind of response to antigens right so what are antibodies so these are protein structures which are created inside our body so they have a specific shape and they have the shape of the english alphabet y so this is how an antibody looks like so you see it has a y shaped structure and if you see here at one end they have antigen binding site so if you see this is antigen so here you can see all these are examples of antigen so this is how antigen looks like now whenever an antigen enters inside your body your body will produce y shaped protein molecule such that this antibody will bind to this antigen so you see the this portion of the antigen fits exactly to the antigen binding site of the antibody so basically they both fit together perfectly so now what will happen this antibody this y shaped structure will remain inside the body 
forever. Now next time when the same antigen comes in, what will happen? So the same antigen will fit inside the antibody and the antibody will destroy the antigen. So the antigen will not be able to cause any kind of disease inside the body. So that is how the concept of antigen antibody works. So these antibodies, they recognize and neutralize the pathogens. Pathogens are nothing but the antigens. So each antibody binds to a specific antigen. So if you see here, now let us suppose if this antibody is produced inside your body. Now if this antigen attacks the next time, so this antibody will not be able to protect your body against this antigen because this antibody cannot bind to this antigen. So one specific antibody can bind to one specific antigen. So it can give you protection against that particular antigen. So that is how it works. Now, if you talk about the structure of an antibody molecule, you can see here it is a protein molecule. It has peptide chains. There are two light chains and two heavy chains. So this is a light chain. This is also a light chain. And this one is a heavy chain. This one is another heavy chain. So these are the heavy chains. So there are two light chains and two heavy chains. So that is how the structure of antibody looks like. So I hope the concept of vaccination is clear to you because this is very important to understand how vaccination happens and how microorganisms help us in the process of vaccination. Now let us quickly look at the success of vaccination. As I was telling you that it has been a huge success because many deadly diseases like smallpox have been eradicated only because of vaccination. So smallpox is eradicated because a lot of people died because of this disease, because there was no treatment. So vaccination could actually prevent this disease to such a large extent that now nobody suffers from smallpox. Diseases like polio, tetanus, measles have been reduced because vaccines are available for each of these diseases. Now, it is uh, a parent's responsibility to get these vaccines uh, on correct time to their kids so that they do not suffer from any of these. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.